while we have these electric circuits over here, I want to show you an example of chaos in electricity. I bet you didn't know that chaos, these kinds of things we've been talking about, can also occur in electric circuits. And we have an electric circuit that's extraordinarily simple. And I have it right here. This is a very simple electric circuit that has only two components. It has something that we call an inductor, which is just a coil of wire. And it has something that we call a diode, which is like a transistor in a transistor radio. And with just those two things, we can produce chaos. Because at the input of this circuit, we uh, make a sine wave, a voltage, that's like the sine waves we were showing you over there. And at the output comes chaos. And it's truly amazing that circuits do this. And in fact, we can also explore the transition from periodic to chaotic behavior in this circuit. Now, we have the circuit over here, and we have it hooked up to the PA system, so you'll actually be able to hear it. So let me turn it on. Can you hear that very shrill pitch? Now, if this bothers you, just close your ears. I know some people are sensitive to this. But that is an example now of a periodic sound. It's a very high-pitched tone. It's about 12,000 cycles per second. And it's going into the circuit, and coming out of the circuit is, in fact, the same pitch. And that's what you're hearing, a single frequency, 12,000 cycles per second, quite regular and repeatable. But if I turn up the voltage at the input a little bit, now you're hearing a 6,000 cycle per second. It's exactly one octave lower. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. You hear what happened? I'll turn the volume down so it doesn't, not quite so piercing. Another tone came in, exactly half of the previous one, 3,000 cycles per second, one octave below. And if I'm very, very careful, I can turn it up and get yet another. It's right there. It's a little hard to hear. It's not very loud, but a new tone comes in even lower. If I turn it up a little more yet, in fact, you will hear the sound of chaos. So you see, it's a sound a lot like the random sound that we have from the noise generator. But in this case, it is a deterministic sound. It's completely predictable, and it comes from a very simple electronic circuit. Now, in electronic circuits, there are several ways to make electronic circuits that are chaotic. And we have one here that consists of six neon bulbs. And the neon bulbs, you notice, are flashing. And they are flashing in what looks like a complicated, and in fact, it looks like a random sequence. It looks like you can't really predict which will go next. But in fact, it is a quite a deterministic system. And what happens next is determined by what happens previously. But yet, it is very sensitive to initial conditions. And depending on just how we start it, the sequence of numbers um, is very complicated and very difficult to predict over the long term. Now, this one, too, we can simulate on the computer. Uh, and so on the computer, we actually have eight neon bulbs, little bars, uh, black bars. And you see, every now and then, one of them flashes red. And that's uh, to simulate when that particular light bulb flashes. And you notice it's a complicated pattern. Do some of you play the piano? <coughs> Quite a few. These kind of look like the white keys on a piano board, don't they? That's right. And so you might wonder what this music would sound like if you could actually listen to it. And in fact, we can do that with the marvel of a computer. So you see, it does sound a little bit like music, right? It's not great music, I agree. But it does have this combination of a certain degree of determinism that's characteristic of chaos. Music, you can't just mix in any old notes. There are rules for writing music. But on the other hand, it can't be too predictable either, or it would be boring. So music, in fact, is, a, is combines uh, a certain degree of predictability with a certain degree of unpredictability. And that's when it sounds best. And indeed, um, with uh, chaos, we can produce music uh, using deterministic schemes.